Back to Rogueport. Hey everybody, welcome back to Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door. I forgot I was wearing the Luigi badge. It's funnier that way. Anyways, if you remember last time, we've finished, uh... We've got our sixth crystal star, which is insane to me. Um, and we're back in Rogueport. And Tech is dead now. He would figured out what was going on with Peach, so Grotus was like, hmm, uh, kill him. Mario, that sounds like an email from Princess Peach. Ooh. Mario, I now know where I'm being held. I'm on the moon. Yes, the moon that floats out in space. And I've learned something even more horrifying. In order to resurrect the monster spirit, they need my... The moon? That's totally nuts! Princess Peach is on the moon?! I mean, that actually sounds pretty cool, but why is her email cut off? Oh my gosh! You don't think something happened to her, do you? I do think something happened to her. We need to save my girlfriend. Oh god. <clears throat> well, guess what I found in Ratchet's Ruins, bro? Yep, a marvelous compass piece. Uh, this is part of my adventure. This part of my adventure was actually sort of sad, if you want to know the truth. Uh, it was pretty insane, bro. Wanna hear what happened? It's a pretty long story. You know, I wanna hear Luigi. Hey, sounds good to me. Which part of my story you wanna hear, bro? Rapture's ruins. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here goes. After journeying deep into the Grimble Forest, I found the domed Rapture's ruins. Inside, everything was pure white. You couldn't tell where the floor became walls. Proceeding dead ahead, I found myself in a changer chamber where a young boy sat. As I approached the boy, someone named Screamy appeared out of nowhere. Screamy said the boy's name was Cranberry, and that he'd wake for a child of fate. Uh, that didn't make any sense to me, so I started searching quietly for the compass piece. Uh, but then it happened, bro! Uh, I got a tiny tickle in my nose, and I let out a huge sneeze. Well, Cranberry must have heard it, because he opened his eyes right up. He looked at me and smiled, and all of a sudden, I could understand his language. Can you believe it? I learned that the boy was the last of an ancient race, the Luffs. Uh, he had been there guarding the marvelous compass piece for the last thousand years. He told me that the compass is an item with the power to see into the future. The ancient Luff Empire used the power of the compass to rule much of the world. Because of their greed, they were cursed by the compass, and their empire collapsed. Uh, to prevent a repeat of their fate, Cranberry broke the compass into seven parts. Uh, he hid six and kept one, putting himself to sleep until a worthy hero woke him. Uh, I was that hero, bro! He gave it to me, and then he and the ruins vanished. When I added that piece to the compass, it pointed to the far north where dreaded Hate Song Tower stands. This time, I heard Princess Eclair's voice more clearly than ever before. I will rescue the princess, I will be super, and then I'll... 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 Well, I'll figure the rest out later. Anyway, I headed back here to Rogueport after that. I'm making my final preparations for my final battle now. I'm a little nervous, bro, but that's what I've been up to anyways. If you want to hear what I've been up to, just come to find me, okay? I'm screaming. I wonder what future is plotted for us by he who holds the compass. For I must deliver something. That's Luigi's pal Screamy. Uh, Screamy creeps me out. Never seen anyone like that. Where's he from? Yeah, that, that kid? Mm. Something's not right with him. Um, let me see, let me see, let me see. What do I need to do in this episode? I think this go around. First of all, let me go grab that, uh... Because you have something I want. You don't have it on you. Why are you selling just to stop whatever? <laughs> Again, that why? Why? No, he's got uh because there's the L emblem that I'm wearing, uh there's also a W emblem that makes it seem look like Wario. And if you wear the both of them, you look like Waluigi. This one here. You got an ultra hammer. Hi, it's me again, Toadette. Nice to see you again. Way to find the ultra hammer. Now your hammer will be even more powerful. And you can also use a new hammer technique. Let's practice it right away. It's just like with the super hammer, so no problem. Hold down B and rotate uh, joystick until your body gets twisty. Then release B to use your ultra hammer. Remember to twist a lot before releasing B, okay? 
Now B. Q. Same as the super hammer. Oh, looks cool. Yeah! Way to go! You got it! Wanna try again? Oh, I've got it. Alright! You've mastered the Ultra Hammer! Using your Ultra Hammer, you can even break blocks made out of stuff like this! And you can use the Ultra Hammer in battle, too! Um... Um, this is kinda sad. It's the last time I'll get to see Mario. Definitely save Princess Peach, okay? And and be careful in your quest, okay? Oh, Toadette. Oh, Toadette. Thanks for all your help. Man, I'm saying goodbyes to all the characters. Anyway, power up time. Wow. Wow. Welcome to the home of Marlin. I enforce all your arrivals, so I get two of these. Uh, yeah. Coops, obviously. Yes, please. Shazibi! <laughs> yeah! Powered up. Alright, you can power up more. I'm thinking either Bobbery or Vivian. Yeah, give me give me bobberies. Shazibi! Shazubi! Boys are crying. Then you may go. He's got 40 HP. Jesus. Bobbery. Surprising nobody, you got more HP than I do. To be fair though, I've not really been taking HP. Only badge power, speaking of. I totally have more than I need to. time we're gonna do the, uh, we're gonna start the Pit of 100 Trials, because, unfortunately, it's really helpful if I do it, so I kinda have to. Mm, let's see, what's in here? What's that? Okay, another Defense Plus. Everybody has plus one to their defense, much like Koops does, but Koops has a plus two to his defense because he's a Koopa, unless he gets flipped. And then he's fucked. But I mean... Oh no. What's in this house? Don't tell me it's just a star piece. <laughs> Oh, it was just a, just, eh. It was just a star piece. Which, I mean, nothing wrong with that. Like, the more the merrier. Jeez. Oh, I really can't find it. Getting hungry again.
Oh, my hair's getting long again. I only say that because it's like tickling my ears in the in the uh, headset. I don't like that. Trade again sometime. I just, you know, got what I needed out of you. Um. Ah! Right, I have first strike turned off. Chill out. Oh my god! Coops! You do six damage? Holy shit! Where does that pipe go? Also, what's in here? Flower saver! Did I not just buy that? Like, what is it with me buying badges that I already have? Or that I'm about to get? What the fuck? What is going on? Bit of a hundred trial is gonna be a fucking cakewalk. Get a little savory in real quick, cause like it's been a minute. Pipe in there, probably gonna be story relevant. So let's see. Oh, yep, story relevant. Boy, this is darn cold. Where is this place anyway? Um. Uh, we're not supposed to be here just yet. Story relevant, but, you know. Oopsie. Ah! Fucking hell! Let's, 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 let's. 
Star piece. It's like hidden, but not really hidden. So did your badge of strange out yet? Ha! <laughs> Fuck it so much. It's not worth it, but it's funny. Give it to me, please. Thank you. No, I'm good. Yeah! Like, you can't tell me that that's not fresh as hell. There it is. Okay, cool, cool. <laughs> oh, was that worth the money? No. It was worth the money because I'm extremely happy now. Like, that is that is fresh as fuck, boy. Is the mouse back? Hey! Haha! <laughs> Mario, it's me, Lumpy. Don't you remember? I went to Dry Dry Desert to drill for oil? Ring a bell? Mm-hmm. Why? I... I did it! I totally struck oil! Yeah, jeez. There were times that I was covered in dust, weak, and ready to give up. But, but... But I never lost sight of the dream. And one day, I finally seized it. Just don't let your dream die, Mario. I know you'll make it someday, just like I did. Right, I didn't have the money to fund his fucking journey. God damn it. Very cool. Very neat. I just, sorry, I didn't feel like reading that. He was just saying, yeah, there's pipes that go to other places. You can instantly get to Poshley Heights if you do that. I'm like, oh, cool. It's a great story, man. I want to know what's in that treasure chest. So we're gonna grab it. <laughs> okay. Okay, sure. I know this is like everybody's least favorite part of the journey where it's like, well, uh, guess we gotta like grab items, power up partners, like kinda do all that. Cause I know it's my least favorite because it's like, well, I guess I have to do all this stuff in between the adventures to make the rest of the adventure easy, but fuck me, dude. It takes a minute. Enemies are on the other side. That was really dumb of me. Because I could just have done that. Gradual. Gradual shit's kinda stupid. 
not it's not, but like I don't find it useful, so it's stupid. Okay, we'll figure out where the pipe goes first, and then we'll become a boat. I'm on a boat. But I am God damn it! We're doing that next episode, not this one. Well, Hold on, I don't want to talk to Flurry. I don't even remember her voice. I've, I never use her. Alright, hold aloft to the map. Sorry, hold the star and then the map. On the moon? Just like my girlfriend? That explains a lot. The location of a crystal star was recorded on your magical map. Um, okay. That is like a total typo or something. Do you see that, Mario? The last crystal star. It can't be there. Hmm. Hmm. Bad news, everyone! If what this map indicates is true, the location of the final crystal star is... The moon. The moon? Princess Peach is there too! This just seems wrong on, like, so many levels! Hmm. The problem here is how does one get to the moon? Quite a conundrum. Give me a moment to look into this. Excuse me, please. This shouldn't take long. Um, looking into this may take a little time, so come back in a bit, alright? Okay, well, um... I'm gonna call it... I'm gonna call this one a short episode, so that next time we can... Uh, oh, it's the real zip toe! What's up, Super Sleuth? I heard you uncovered my imposter. You're, like, the best, man, seriously. See, when you get to be as big a star as zip toe, these sorts of things happen all the time. It's the biz. But man, but man alive, for a no-name like you to brave danger and find my imposter, reminds me of a younger yet less successful me. Yes, yeah, so as for me, I'm headed to Toad Town to film my next leading role, the soon-to-be hit film on Golden Toad 2. It'll be huge. I hear you're on an adventure or something, so I'll leave you with a line from my last flick, the Toad Warrior. You're cool, baby. But I'm cooler. Best of luck, kid. The superstar, the real Zip Toad. What an ass. <laughs> Hold on! Hold on! That's the little dino guy from the first fucking Mario. Paper Mario. Oh, I hate him! He's the worst. Ugh. I'm not reading that mail from the patch. Anyways, I'm gonna call it uh, here for this episode because next time we're gonna be. We're gonna be in the pit of 100 trials for quite a while, so. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I will see you on the next one. Bye!